हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडेज क्लास आई होप यू विल बी फाइन एंड सेफ एट योर होम डेयर स्टूडेंट इन दिस डे वी आर रिवाइजिंग द लेसन एक्सरसाइज एंड वर्ड बैंक सो यू ऑल आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू कंप्लीट योर नोट प्रॉपरली एंड लर्न क्वेश्चन आंसर एंड एक्सरसाइज फॉर योर पीरियोडिक एग्जाम you can see here i am with the first lesson that is the earth the blue planet earth the blue planet first of all we will see spot check first of all we will see spot check that is inside the lesson next is in this you have to write yes or no if sentence is right you have to write yes if sentence is not right you have to write no so first sentence is there are five continents and seven oceans yes student there are five continents and seven oceans it is here answer will be yes or no can you tell me how many continents five continents and seven oceans it is true so we will write here yes and next is asia is the largest continent asia is the largest continent dear student it is correct it is right the largest continent is asia asia is the largest continent can you tell me india lies in which continent yes asia continent which is the largest continent of the world next is the sahara desert lies in africa yes student sahara desert lies in africa its answer will be right next is next is last australia is the coldest continent dear student australia is the coldest continent it is wrong australia is not the coldest continent so answer will be no and the next part is world bank in world bank equator first of all we will discuss about equator and imaginary line on the earth surface and imaginary line on the earth surface that divides it into the northern and southern hemisphere that is called equator you can understand here let's suppose it is earth and there is a line which is in the center of the earth and this line is called 0 degree equator equator and this line divides the earth into two equal halves upper half is called upper half is called northern hemisphere and down side will be southern hemisphere so the upper portion the upper half from the equator is northern hemisphere and the lower half 
from the equator will be southern hemisphere and next is isthmus next one is isthmus dear student what is isthmus a strip of land connecting two main lands separated by water a strip of land connecting two main lands separated by water just for example you can see here just suppose it is a land area and this land area is connected by a strip so it is called isthmus this it is called isthmus next is topography the physical feature of an area topography means dear student our earth have different different physical features so when we talk about physical feature of an area the answer will be topography next is biodiversity variety of organism biodiversity means variety of living organism are come in biodiversity keep in mind variety of organism variety of living organism and next is trench the deep hole in ocean bed the deep hole in ocean bed is called trench and next is submarine mountain range submarine mountain range a mountain range under the surface of the sea a mountain range that is under the surface of the sea it will be called submarine mountain range so my dear student it's all about our today's class and in next video we will see the other part of the exercises and my dear student today i am going to provide you the solution of question answer of chapter 4 so prepare your note note properly and when school will reopen it will be checked so learn all the things properly do comment in comment box and enjoy your day if you have any problem you have to write in comment box so enjoy your day and have a nice day